In the video for today, I'm going to show you how you could find a lost or stolen phone on Google Maps. So in order for you to find or track your lost or stolen phone, the first thing you need to do is ensure that you remember the email that was used to sign into your Google Play Store account. So once you remember that, the next thing to do is get onto a laptop or a PC and go to google.com. Okay, so that's very simple. You can open a web browser, whatever a web browser you are using, Firefox, Google Chrome, Oprah, or whatever it is, and open google.com. Now, once you go to google.com, your uh, homepage would be something like this. It's a search engine on which you could actually find for all sorts of things you could ever think about, okay? So on google.com, on the search bar, what I need you to type in is Google find my device, okay? Now, I know what you're thinking. This is something different, okay? Uh, the video for today is going to give you the precise location for your smartphone, no matter where you have misplaced it in the world, all right? So stick with me till the end. So you type in Google, find my device and do a search as simple and easy as that, right? Now, once you do a search, Google would give you all the options out here, all the search results. What I want you to do is go to the first option suggested by Google, find my device. Click on this link. And once you do that, you are going to be directed to this page on which you are gonna get access to Google Maps to one side and you would get information about your phone or your Android device or whatever it is out here to the left, okay? Now, you need to ensure that the email address that you remembered is gonna be the email address you're gonna to use to log into your account with Google Find My Device. Now, a good to know thing is that Google Find My Device is an application or is a website by Google itself that is actually automatically added to your Google account, okay? Android smartphones or tablets these days are automatically synced with Find My Device. So when you buy new Android tablets or Android phones, when you sign up or when you are setting up your device, you are automatically checked in for Google Find My Device until and unless you actually check out manually yourself only then your device is actually detached or only then your device or your account with Google is actually not linked with find my device, but normally it is, all right? So here, what you need to do is log in with the same email address you had on your lost or stolen phone. So I'm gonna show you a live example uh, with one of my phones which is not uh, available on my desk right now. I don't know where it is exactly. So let's try to track that phone live right now in the video itself using Google Maps. Okay, you're gonna get the precise location for your phone. So after I log in with the email account that is on that specific Android device, I get to see the details about that specific phone to the left and I could actually see where it is on Google Maps okay so here is my phone on Google Maps and I could actually zoom in to see using my mouse scroller to view the exact road or exact position of my phone okay or location of my phone all right, so I am gonna look for my phone after this video, but for now, let me explain to you that you could not only just locate your phone, but also get details about your phone. You could see here to the left, this is a picture of my phone, the name or model number of my phone, is it online, when was it last seen, and uh, is it on for locations, like is the GPS on or off, and which network and how much battery it has. All right, apart from that, if you want your phone to ring, whether or not it is in silent mode, you could click on this option and your device would ring for five minutes, even if your phone is on silent. All right, now for some odd reason, say supposing you are not able to, uh, you know, locate your phone, even if it is showing up on Google Maps, what you could do is Google gives you this amazing 
option you could actually lock your device and sign out of your google account now what's going to happen is normally with android devices these days all your data is synced with your google account so if somebody gets hold of your smartphone and tries to you know misuse your information that is not going to be good right so if you are actually not able to locate your phone you could secure your device by locking it or signing out of your google account by clicking on this option now I'm not gonna do that because my phone is in my room itself I'm gonna look for it but if you have misplaced your phone or you have lost it this is an option you could consider if you think this is necessary okay now even if you lock and secure your device if you think you have data on your smartphone which could be misused you could actually format your phone from here itself yes you could do a remote format this option here erase device if you click on this you would actually be formatting your phone phone forever okay so at least if you wouldn't find your phone or if you cannot find your phone if it is stolen or lost or whatever it is you could actually format your phone and keep yourself safe I mean uh, you know if your data is not misused okay you are gonna be safe in a way I know how much you love your phone so if you have misplaced it if you find it using this technique that's amazing that's fantastic I would be very happy for you but if you do not still find your phone you could go ahead for these two options to at least secure your personal data take care